When searching for a sign, it's important to look for accuracy. I want to leave this place with more rights than we currently have now. Catherine Riley has spent a lifetime doing that, currently serving as the policy director for the nonprofit group Color. We work at the intersection of reproductive rights as well as all these other social justice issues that impact the Latino community here in our state. Riley says one of the biggest issues facing Latinos in the Colorado community is abortion access and the information surrounding it. You know, misinformation in the Spanish speaking community has always been an issue. We just read a report where we found out that the majority of our folks get their information information from YouTube and we know that anyone can post videos on YouTube. NBC reports Spanish language misinformation on social media is continuing to grow despite tech companies adopting strict content rules. Others find misinformation on pregnancy center websites, places that often don't provide abortion medical care because they're ran by religiously affiliated organizations. That's where people like Riley come into play. We hope that the legislation will be able to mitigate the harms that these anti-abortion clinics cause on our communities. Riley and others are looking to drop a bill similar to one that passed in Connecticut in 2021. It prohibits limited pregnancy centers from using deceptive advertising about pregnancy related services they provide. The legislation is still finding its way and trying to figure out what will be in it, but the main piece is that we want to put a stop to the harm that these clinics do to our communities. Opponents of bills similar to the one Color is proposing argue bills like these are using the strong arm of the government to steer people to one choice to get an abortion. Color says it's to make sure people get accurate information before they make these decisions. And Alex Tom, the group hopes to have something ready for the Colorado 2020 20 to 23 legislative session. I'm surprised. Uh, uh law like this isn't already enacted in Colorado because they were so quick to be ready for the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yeah, and this group tells me they were watching how Connecticut did it mm. because they were also pretty active um, prior to Roe versus Wade being overturned and, and getting things into place to make sure that people were protected. So when Connecticut did it, they realized that they have an opportunity to do it themselves. Yeah, it's missing. All right. Thanks, Jaleesa.